it's sometimes useful to uh, uh, consider uh, uh, the uh, current loop in an external magnetic field from an energy standpoint, and uh, the uh, that's what we will do in this uh, this segment, at least after a fashion. Uh, we found last time uh, that any circular loop, right? well, it really could be any shape loop. It doesn't have to be circular here. I've got it going in a circle. Uh, it has a, a plane uh, that's planar, and it has a normal that's perpendicular to the plane of the circuit. And uh, if I have n turns, so n wraps of wire, each one of the uh, pieces of wire has the current I going through it, then the magnetic dipole moment was this expression, n uh, I times the area vector, where the area is the area enclosed by the current loop, and uh, n hat is the perpendicular to the to the uh, uh, surface uh, to the surface, and there's a very uh, clear sense of this. It's uh, via the right-hand rule. If you uh, uh, if you grab the axis that the current is going about, if it's circular, with your right hand uh, in the thumb direction of the uh, 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 along the axis, and curl your fingers so that it's going in the direction of current flow, then your thumb naturally points in the direction of n hat, okay? the, the normal. So that's the convention for uh, uh, the assignment of the normal. And then once we have that, then uh, uh, if I'm in an external magnetic field, uh, this uh, magnetic dipole moment of the circuit uh, will experience a torque on it. There won't be any force on it in a uniform field, but will experience a torque that's given by a, a, that fairly simple expression, mu cross uh, b naught, that we saw last time. And now I just want to relate the. We encountered something similar to this when we looked at the electric dipole. It had an electric dipole moment, okay? uh, and we got the torque on an electric dipole moment as P cross E naught, and, and it doesn't take too much of an imagination to, to recognize the similarity. The uh, magnetic dipole moment is similar to the electric uh, dipole, and the magnetic field, the only difference is the magnetic field in this case, in this case it's an uh, uh, electric field for an electric dipole in an external electric field. And in that case, we found pretty easily that the potential energy of this, uh, uh, this dipole, electric dipole, was minus uh, P dot E naught, where d the dot is the scalar product between those two. I remember the, there's a little bit of difference in that uh, uh, this, uh, uh, this P vector, the, uh, uh, the uh, electric dipole moment, was the magnitude of the separated charge, I assume we've got a charge separation, plus q and minus q. D vector is the vector that's drawn from the negative charge to the positive one. And then the electric uh, dipole moment was uh, just the magnitude of that charge times this D vector. Well, we can use this playoff of this analogy uh, to the uh, say, well, we've got a similar kind of thing that goes on here uh, with the magnetic field. And so one would expect the uh, magnetic dipole energy uh, to be uh, uh, the uh, analogous uh, form uh, to the electric dipole. And it's minus P, and the only thing we do is substitute for P the mu and for E the D naught. And indeed, that's what you find. Uh, that the uh, magnetic uh, uh, dipole potential energy in an external magnetic field is minus mu vector dot b, and again, that's the dot product or the scalar product of these two vectors, uh, which is just a number. It's, it's the magnetic uh, dipole moment times the magnetic field strength times the cosine of the angle between them. So if we have a current I going in this direction, then its dipole moment points uh, uh, perpendicular to it in this direction, and the angle between mu vector and d is the theta. 
if that's free to rotate, well, what happens is, is that this magnetic, uh, from an energy standpoint, this uh, magnetic dipole moment is going to rotate around so that it achieves the lowest possible energy. So we want the potential energy to be as low as possible. Nature likes to, uh, to be in the lowest possible energy state. You know? And uh, in that case, it's going to rotate around until finally this, uh, this circuit loop, if it's free to rotate, has its uh, magnetic dipole moment align itself pointing in the same direction as B. And in that case, uh, the angle is zero, and we get minus uh, mu uh, B. We get the largest possible value here, and the largest possible value of cosine theta is one, and that gives me the lowest possible energy. So. Uh, viewed from an energy standpoint, the uh, magnetic dipole tries to go into the lowest energy state, lowest potential energy, uh, which is aligning itself with the external magnetic field. Well, uh, the uh, uh, importance and significance of, of this idea uh, really probably can't be uh, overestimated especially because uh, uh, it becomes of great significance to atoms and molecules uh, on an atomic uh, uh, molecular scale. Uh, and the reason is this. Uh, an atom is, a, uh, is an orbit about a nucleus. And here I've got a, a electron, in this case, is uh, in the uh, nuclear model of an atom, the electron circle, and usually there are negative charges. Electrons are negative charges. So uh, charges moving in this direction you know, produce current flow in the opposite direction. Negative charges moving one direction produces positive current flow in the other direction. In fact, these electrons are moving around so fast in this orbit uh, that it's like a burr, blur, and you you essentially see this as uh, at this radius r is like a current loop going around, a current i going around. Anytime you have a current i going and enclosing in a closed loop, the enclosed area, you get a magnetic uh, moment vector associated with it. And then if there's a external uh, magnetic field imposed, then this little atom here has its magnetic moment. It's just the current times the area enclosed. And it or has an orientation that's perpendicular to the area. And uh, if there's an external magnetic field, then it will tend to align itself with this external uh, magnetic field. So uh, <coughs> the, uh, uh, again, the formula is, uh, is pretty simple, but the implications really are very profound once you go into the atomic uh, physics regime. You may have seen in chemistry, they may have talked about uh, uh, spectra and maybe uh, Zeeman splitting of spectral lines and different things. And it's because of this magnetic uh, dipole moment that the atoms have uh, that when you impose an external magnetic field that you'll get some additional uh, uh, splitting in the, uh, uh, in the uh, spectral lines uh, that you uh, wouldn't have if uh, you didn't have these magnetic moments. Uh, you can even think of fundamental particles uh, maybe an electron itself is like a little ball of spinning charge, and anytime you have spinning charge, it produces little current loops, and they all together uh, produce a magnetic moment. So lots of uh, fundamental particles have also associated with them a fundamental magnetic uh, dipole moment, and the electron is one of those, and that ultimately leads into the concept of, uh, of spin uh, and uh, in, uh, uh, quantum uh, 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 physics, and you'll hear more about those ideas in, uh, uh, in modern physics and uh, in subsequent classes if you, if you go so far as to take those. Uh, electrical engineers uh, will have to take modern physics because it becomes more important. Mechanical, I would strongly uh, uh, recommend that you take it. It's not required, but uh, if one believes, and I think I believe it, is that, uh, that modern uh, physics is such that uh, 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 even mechanical engineers need to be thought, thinking in terms of applying their ideas at the nano level, and then, and then these ideas of magnetic uh, uh, dipoles uh, and individual particles uh, 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 become very important. 
And as I say, these will, will be talked about uh, with some uh, uh, some units on it in the uh, in the modern physics course. So highly recommended, and uh, has lots of implications, both medical applications and uh, chemistry and nuclear uh, physics uh, implications.